Welcome to BrainFuse. In this lesson, we'll review how to divide fractions. The division problem on screen is written in two different ways. On the left, we have fractional notation. It's written like a fraction. We have the numerator 2 fifths over the denominator 3 fifths. And another way to write this problem is on the right side of the screen, where we have 2 fifths divided by 3 fifths using the traditional sign for division. To figure out what's happening when we divide, this fractional notation may be the best example to use for this lesson. So we have 2 fifths over 3 fifths. And to make this problem simpler, I do not want to work with this denominator. I want to find a way to cancel it out. We can do that by multiplying the fraction in the denominator by some fraction that will result in a product of 1. So which fraction would do that? That fraction is called the reciprocal. And to find the reciprocal, all you need to do is flip the numerator and the denominator. If we did that, 5 would become the numerator, and 3 would become the denominator. And so 3 times 5 equals 15. 5 times 3 equals 15. So this result would equal 1. So how can we get away with doing this? The only way we can is if we also multiply 2 fifths by 5 thirds. OK, so that equals, again, 5 times 3 in the denominator. We have 15. And 2 times 5 gives us 10. So we're now left with. 10 fifteenths, I'll rewrite it over here since it's crowded. We're left with 10 fifteenths over 1. So since it's over 1, we can just rewrite that as 10 fifteenths. And can we simplify this any further? Well, 10 and 15 both have a common factor. They have 5 as a factor. So let's divide both sides, again, the numerator and denominator by 5. 10 divided by 5 is 2, and 15 divided by 5 is 3. So our final answer is 2 thirds. Let's try one with more challenging numbers, just to make sure you have this skill down. So we'll use some improper fractions. In the spirit of division, we can divide the screen and use the right side. I'll just delete this so it's not as confusing. So this time, let's try 11 over 2 divided by 9 over 7. OK, so I do not want to work with that denominator. So what can I multiply that by to have a result of 1. That would be its reciprocal, 7 over 9. Again, we just flip the numerator and denominator. But whatever I do to the denominator, I need to do to the numerator. So that leaves us with, let's see, 9 times 7 is equal to 63. And 7 times 9 is, surprisingly, equal to 63. So 63 over 63 equals 1. And up top in the numerator, we have 11 times 7 is 77, and 2 times 9 is 18. So that gives us 77 eighteenths over 1. And if, since it's over 1, that's equal to 77 eighteenths. For some extra practice with improper fractions, let's go ahead and convert that to a mixed number. 18 goes into 77 four times. 18 times 4 is 72, so 77 minus 72 is 5. So we're left with 4 and 5 eighteenths as our answer. Now it's your turn to practice dividing fractions, and thank you for watching this lesson.